machine operating buttons. You can use either the foot control or the start stop button to operate the machine. Start stop button. Press the start stop button to start or to stop the machine. The machine will run slowly while this button is pressed, and will start running at the speed set by the speed control slider when the button is released. Pressing the start stop button again while the machine is running will slow down the machine, and it will stop when the button is released. The start stop button does not work when the foot control is connected. Speed control the machine is equipped with two methods of speed control for sewing. When the foot control is not being used, sewing speed is decided by the speed control slider. To decrease the speed, shift the slider to the left. Shift to the right to increase the speed. If you wish to use the foot control, open the base cover of the foot control and draw out the cable. Close the base cover of the foot control. Turn the power switch off. Insert the pin connector into the jack on the machine. Turn the power switch on. The maximum sewing speed is decided by the speed control slider. If you set the slider to the slow position, the speed will be limited even if the foot control is depressed completely. This is useful for sewing fine fabrics etc. Set the speed control slider at the fastest position and adjust the amount of foot control depression for normal sewing. The cord of the foot control can be conveniently stored in the cord storage under the base cover of the foot control. Reverse button The machine will sew in reverse as long as the reverse button is being pressed, when these patterns are being sewn. To secure the beginning of a seam, press and hold down this button so that the machine will sew in reverse at the slowest speed. When other patterns are selected, Pressing the reverse button causes the machine to lock the stitch in place and stop automatically. Auto lock button. The machine immediately locks the stitch and will stop automatically by pressing the auto lock button when these patterns have been selected. When other patterns are selected, the machine will sew to the end of the pattern being sewn, then lock the stitch and stop automatically. If you press the auto lock button before sewing, the machine will sew one stitch and stop automatically. Needle up down button. Press this button to raise or lower the needle. Thread cutter button.
Press this button to trim the threads after sewing. The needle and presser foot will automatically rise after trimming the threads. You can sew the next stitch without pulling the bobbin thread up. If you use a machine that has no thread cutter button, or if you use thick threads or the twin needle, use the thread cutter on the face plate. Presser foot lifter button. The presser foot will go up or down by pressing this button. You can also raise or lower the presser foot manually with the presser foot lifter. You can raise the presser foot higher than the normal up position. This helps you to place thick fabrics under the foot. You can raise or lower the presser foot without using the presser foot lifter when the knee lifter is attached. Match the ribs on the knee lifter with the notches in the knee lifter socket and insert the knee lifter. The knee lifter is helpful for handling large fabrics such as quilts by controlling the presser foot with your knee. Needle Threader Button Press this button to thread the needle thread through the needle eye. Thumb Wheel Turn the thumb wheel to lower or raise the needle to check the needle draw position. Do not use the thumb wheel to lower the needle to penetrate the fabric. Top Cover Release Button Press the Top Cover Release button to open the top cover. Close the top cover with your hand. 